In this video, I'm going to show you uh, an, an issue that we were having with our con air conditioning. Uh, basically, we uh, the inside was not cooling, <clears throat> so I ended up uh, coming out and checking out the air compressor, and uh, I heard the uh, the motor, uh, the compressor humming. It wasn't turning; it was humming, but my fan was not spinning. So. That immediately uh, indicates that either the motor is bad or the capacitor on the fan side uh, is not powering up the uh, the fan. So um, one of the things to make sure is, is unlike us, our compressor ran for like five, six hours before we realized that it wasn't cooling inside. So uh, immediately turn your AC off and then um, you make sure that you go out there and uh, figure out uh, what is the issue. So for us it was humming, the fan above was not turning so that was pretty simple to figure out. Um, however if your compressor is not turning on but your indoor uh, fan is turning on, your air handler is turning on and then most likely the issue is outside. So one of the things that goes out uh, always on these air conditionings are the start run capacitor. Uh, these are the capacitors that help start the motor uh, of the compressor and the fan. Uh, they have a Herm terminal for the compressor, fan terminal for the fan, and then this is the common uh, terminal. Uh, these capacitors go out every year, every few years, and they always go out at the beginning of your uh, air conditioning uh, season. So um, one of the things that you want to do is, is before you start any work, you want to make sure you uh, pull out the, um, the fuse uh, from your, uh, uh, from, from your uh, outlet here so that this way there is no power that is going into the unit. Um, after you've done this, uh, what you want to do is, is to make sure uh, you have uh, used a screwdriver and you basically end up shorting uh, the terminals on here so that there is no uh, voltage stored in the capacitor because uh, no matter how low the amperage is going to be um, it is going to be a significant significant shock another telltale sign immediately by looking at the top of these capacitors is if it was humped if it was curved uh, if it had popped upwards uh, it's rounded at the top it's an immediate sign that it's blown. But in our case, as you can see, it's not. So we're gonna have to check the terminals individually. So once you've done that, I've already done that, I've all, what you do is just you remove these terminals one at a time. I've already loosened them so that for the purpose of this video, I don't end up spending time uh, figuring out how to remove them. So once this is done, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna grab a, uh, a voltmeter, uh, multimeter I mean, uh, something that actually measures capacitance right there. So uh, turn the dial to it, uh, the units are farads, so you flip through the mode and now we are going to be measuring farads. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the readings that we we're supposed to have. Um, this capacitor is a 45, 7.5. So the 45 is supposed to be measured at, at the Herm or the compressor side and the 7.5 is supposed to be measured uh, for the fan. Now if you were to look at the top of this uh, you will see uh, every capacitor says oops, H for Herm and then there is a C on this side for common. So let me uh, go hands-free here so that I can show you how to measure the, uh, the harms on here. I'm going to remove this and uh, show you uh, in two seconds. So it doesn't matter what side you do this. Uh, you want to make sure you touch one side and make sure you grab the other. And there you can see it's measuring 42.6 uh, on this capacitor it's plus or minus 6% so from 45 to 42.6 is less than 6% variance so this is good now we're going to check the fan side and sometimes it takes a few 
seconds for it to get a reading and there you can see it's 0.753 so we automatically know that the uh, capacitor on the fan side is no good uh, so it should be should have been reading close to 7.5 so what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and replace this with one of these we're going to go ahead and check this one here and you can see it's reading 44 so this one is plus or minus uh, six percent as well so we're good on that side and we're gonna check the fan side and the fan is reading five point seven point five six so this is a good one so basically uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this but one of the best things to do I've learned now over the years is to have an extra one handy because uh, there's no need to pay somebody seventy to a hundred dollars to come out and then charge you another fifty sixty dollars for a part that you can buy online for fifteen dollars so do yourself a favor and get one of these uh, make, uh, for yourself uh, and get another one for your air handler uh, our air conditioning unit is about seven years old uh, we've already blown uh, one here and one upstairs so uh, i don't know why it bl blows but uh, anyways it's best to have it uh, with you. So let me get this one installed and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I've got the wires connected. Uh, one of the best things you could do is, is take a picture of your before so that you know how to uh, put the wires back on. But not to worry, if you ever do forget, uh, you always can come back to the back of the panel and most of them will have a diagram. And here you can see is the CAP, which is the capacitor, and you can see down here, um, CAP is the capacitor dual run. So um, here it tells you the brown wire is for the uh, fan, yellow is for the common, the blue is for your Herm terminal. So I've got this all connected, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go inside and uh, turn the air conditioning on. So. Time to replace the fuse. All right, so I'm gonna go inside and turn the air conditioning on. So um, after turning the air conditioning on, as you can see, the fan is turning. So we're good to go there. Um, everything else seems to be in operation. Uh, the temperature uh, out here, uh, between the difference between the hot side so we've got about 20 degrees uh, offset it's cold to the touch so the air con compressor is um, is running so we're gonna go inside and make sure that I'm getting cold air one last check, that uh, two last checks that we're going to do before we close up the air conditioning here is we're going to measure the voltage draw, across, uh, the voltage across here, make sure that we're reading 240, and then this is this piece is called a connector, so we're going to measure the voltage across those two terminals as well and make sure we're at 240 and that we don't have a drop in voltage. Then after that, we're going to measure the amperage on the yellow wire and the, this black wire. These two wires are for the compressor and then we're going to check the amperage the draw on our fan wire which is the black wire for the back uh, basically we want to make sure that the amperage is within the uh, operating range now those numbers can be found right here uh, for this uh, thing we have a compressor the RLA is 19 so any number below 19 should be good but we don't want to be too low and then the uh, fan is going to be running at 1.2, which is uh, what we need to make sure we're below that number. So uh, let me uh, first show you the amperage, and then we'll do the uh, voltage test after that. Basically, you set this to amperage, slide it over the wire. We want to do one wire at a time, and we have 11.5. And we do it over the second wire. And here you can see we're at about 
these numbers should be very close to one another and uh, we're good as long as we're under 19 and not too far below and then the other one for the fan we're at one uh, so the key is to try to make sure the wire is in the center of the circle and uh, we're good there as well because uh, we're below 1.2 so that's basically it. Now I'm going to go hands-free here so that I can show you the voltage. So we've got the uh, voltmeter set onto uh, AC. Can you hold this with your right hand? So basically we're going to measure across these two terminals. We're at 242, which is good. And then we go across here, we're at 242. So there is no drop in this uh, connector. So pretty much everything else looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and brush this dust uh, off. I'm going to turn everything off. Um, we're going to dust everything off here. And then we're going to blow some water through here and make sure that your fins are as clean as possible and these are pretty clean because uh, it's very important to make sure that your uh, fins are clear because this is how the coolant transfers the heat and uh, allows the air condition to cool so that the air inside the house can be cooled up. So um, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Um, if you like it, please give a thumbs up, like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So, uh, thank you for watching.